waste disposal, or rather lack of. Well, with me is Saeed Shahata from BBC Arabic. Um, Saeed, so there is a lot going on. We've got the continuing um, humanitarian warnings that have been coming through. Um, the IDF are having war cabinet meetings in terms of Rafa, but in the meantime, in terms of aid getting through, we have this count pontoon being built. What can you tell us about that? It's a good news for the people in Gaza uh, because this uh, uh, floating platform will provide about 2 million meals per day for the people in Gaza. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the uh, American working hard to, to help to ease the pressure on, on people in Gaza. So this will help. Uh, but with an incident happened yesterday, there is a mortar uh, attack in the vicinity of the uh, general area where the pier will be uh, located, but, you know, it's before the building of it. The security of uh, the mission, the American mission, will be uh, Israeli responsibility. Uh, the American, as Mr. Biden said, there is no boots on the ground, so there is no American forces because there is talks within uh, Hamas and other, like, uh, Palestinian factions that are against any uh, foreign presence in Gaza, but American, uh, you know, like, a assure them there is nothing uh, about that so it's a good news so to be starting from next month it will be helping because UN warning about a famine about disease about many problems happening so the need for more help medicine food water electricity I think this peer will help beside you know the land route because both of them complement each other is not a replacement but will complement that so it's a good news for the Palestinians and it will help ease the tension and the pressure on the needy people in Gaza. Okay, Sayyid Chahata, thank you very much indeed.